Hey guys, all my 11 subscribers, um, back here and we're going to do an unboxing of the Sonoff uh, GK 200MP. It's a pan tilt zoom camera um, and it, the real cool thing is, is you can use this with any NVR like Blue Iris, Zone Minder, um, or if you got a compatible RTS uh, uh, NVR, this camera will work. Um, it is not an outdoor camera. It does have IR lights. It is HD and it is really clear for a 1080p camera. Um, it has motion detection. It does not have uh, motion uh, pan tilt zoom, which I'm kind of sad about. You know where it'll where it'll follow um, a moving target. But other than that, you know it's an awesome awesome camera for 30 bucks. You cannot beat this thing. I mean. 30 bucks with, uh, and I think you have to buy this separately. It's a couple bucks. The little, uh, um, the little uh, AC adapter, you know, part KZ0501200, um, Kilo Zulu 050100 um, is the AC adapter. So I'm going to unbox this stuff for you, show everything that comes within the box, and uh, I will show you just a basic install and get the camera set up, and uh, we'll go from there. So, open this guy up first. It's going to be a power adapter. That's this guy. Okay. You're going to want to see no ugly plastic bags. Got that guy. And then, let's get this guy open. Let's see what's in here. We got a camera. We got a mounting plate. First, we got the the, the Sonoff uh, OK sticker. You know, gotta make sure it passed QC, guys. Got some more instructions. They didn't come with Blue and Star. Oh, yes, they did. Only one pair of instructions this time, so it must be only in 10 languages instead of 100. <laughs> um, so, we got the pan tilt zoom camera. Oh, it says, please tear me off. Is that kind of. Yeah, I think of. Never mind. I'm not going to say what I thought. So this is that guy, kind of show it to you. It does have an Ethernet port, so if you want to hardline it, I do not know if it's PoE. It does not show PoE on the box. Of course, that's why I think you have the adapter. I think if Sonoff could add PoE functionality and the pan tilt zoom functionality at a $40 price point, this camera would be, you know, just phenomenal. Like they would sell, you know, it would sell pretty, pretty darn well. So this is everything that comes in the box, guys. Um, Here's some of this stuff for you. Come on. So this is everything that comes in the box. And uh, yeah, gonna do a quick uh, how-to guide. Now it does work with the e-link software and also you can put a micro SD card in here. So I don't know if it works like other security cameras in the industry where if it loses uh, Wi-Fi, if it, if it still records to it. Um, I will have that below if it does because that's a big feature on a lot of the higher end like access cameras and uh, some of the higher end uh, um, uh, Hex Vision. You know, they, they add that. So if someone comes in and rips out your DVR, well, haha, you still have them on uh, SD card. Um, there's also a power reset button down here. This is uh, how you get your in the pairing mode. And then, of course, the pan tilt camera itself. Um, this guy's kind of neat, too. It's got a uh, little slaps together pretty easily. Yeah, let me get it uh, locked in here. And you just push forward, and it locks, and then that's locked. And then you mount this guy. To uh, whatever surface you want, so if I'm going to mount it like, like right up here or something, I could. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I can. You know, I can mount it right here, and then the camera, of course, is going to be like that. But uh, I don't know if I got a space here on my wall. I'm going to have to make a little overhang on my wall so I can do, you know, the camera like that. It does have a mirror function inside the camera, so you can flip it. Um, and the RTS stuff is really, really neat. For you know, doing like your own server type of stuff and having a zone minder and, and stuff like that. If you don't like having devices talk back to the Chinese server, um, 
and have your IoT devices that are in your network inside your house opened up to China. Um, personally, I don't like it. Um, you can, I don't think anything's going to happen to your network or you're going to have to worry about, um, you know, getting hacked or anything like that. Just make sure you, you enable all your security like 2FA with the eWay Link app. Um, make sure you enable, uh, uh, like you have a 16 character password, use a passphrase. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and Google uh, how do I make a passphrase. And you can make a passphrase and change one little bit in that passphrase and just keep reusing that password and it's so hard to crack and you make it like uh, for instance I love YouTube um, Canon cameras and then every time I'll add like I love uh, Canon and you know I love blah, or whatever or you know so make it a sentence and it's easy to remember and that's what you want to do to secure these devices because if you don't you're gonna end up with somebody oh the other feature that I forgot to tell you about it has a speaker in here and a microphone you can listen and talk to people through this camera so if you got a child or something in the room that you're not home and you have a nanny you can talk to your child um, if you have a dog that's doing some naughty business in your house you can yell at them from work um, so it, it, it's an awesome you know they, they pack this thing full of a ton of stuff I just wish that there's a couple lackluster features that it's missing to really make this on par with even some of the lower grade uh, other you know CCTV cameras the pan tilt zoom feature, I mean, you usually don't get that in a price point till about $100 on a lot of cameras. So for to have that at a $30 price point plus the microphone plus the speaker um, is just a plus. Of course, a negative is no PoE. Um, if you have a PoE switch like I do where I run all my Ethernet and then you only have to one run one line to this guy. Uh, run, lun, flun. Eh, I can't talk right now. Sorry, it's getting late. So let's uh, do a quick dirty install on this guy. I'll show you how to pair it, show you how to set up, and we'll, we'll, I'll show you some of the features. And then, uh, yeah, you know, that's what we do on this channel. Let's get this install done. I'm gonna plug this guy in and we'll, then we'll sync the camera up and we will get it rolling. Um, this, you know, you can really set this guy up anywhere. It's that simple. Plugged into the test wall here. This thing's really neat. It's got uh, sound pairing. So, Cars, I'm going to pull up the, my phone. Give it a second to boot up. And she'll start talking to us here in a second. I mean, they really did a nice job on this camera. Please use mobile phone for Wi Fi configuration. There you go. So, now we'll pull up the e Wheeling app. We will do sound pairing. Have you heard the beep? No, I haven't heard the beep. So I'm going to come underneath here and I'm going to restart it. So I'm going to come and hold this till she says, there you go. Now I'm going to go, you have heard the beep. And then make sure you got your SSID and all that stuff entered in. Once you got that correctly, you're going to hit next. And it's going to make like, it's going to make some crazy. Inspector Shayla is going to be here in like 2.5 seconds. Where is she? Yep, see? Inspector Shayla is on the way. Here she comes. Please use mobile phone for Wi Fi configuration. <laughs> hey, baby. It's okay. Yeah, he's just setting up the, the camera. Wi Fi. Recognize that's a step. It's okay. Hey, hey. It'll stop here in a second. I'm sorry. I know that probably hurts your ears. I know, Bubba. I know. I know, baby. She does not like this sound at all. Please wait for Wi Fi connecting. I'll turn it down a little bit. I know I'm not supposed to. Please wait for internet connecting. I know, baby. Internet connected. Welcome to use cloud camera. Uh, did I pass inspection, huh? Did I pass inspection? Did I? Did I get my permit, huh? I think I got my permit. She approves.
There we go. Alright guys, so now I'm going to name my camera, and I'm let's do a test wall camera. And uh, clear out what's on here in this Ulink app. And do a test cam. And then uh, that simple. Hit complete. There we go. I'm going to get out and I'm going to talk to you guys and show you the pan tilt zoom feature. I don't know if she's going to sit in the way, so uh, just give me one second here and we will test this out. But uh, of course, you guys are going to see here in picture in picture what you can see on the camera. All you can see is a cat's butt for right now. It's that simple, and it's that simple, guys. Like, we're done. Um, other than having to maybe mount the plate, which I don't know if I would. Uh, hold on, let me get this. I don't know if I would use the the mounting and screws that it comes with, but I would definitely, uh, you know, mount it with something different. I would never use these anchors. You could use the screws, but I wouldn't use the anchors. I don't know why they even give you these they, they go in the garbage i hate i just hate them just get different anchors if you're going to actually anchor it or screw it into something solid or wood um, if you got to screw it into siding just get a siding screw with a with a coarse thread um, they do make siding screws uh, just go to like your big box store and you know you're good to go so uh let me pan and tilt the camera a little bit hi how you doing put a put an hd here um, yeah, the light is screwing the camera up. It's too bright. So you get to, you guys can see uh, everything in the background. There, you can see my uh, my director. There he is. Yeah, and he's smiling there in the background. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching Tech Knitwood, and this was uh, you know a presentation to show you guys how to install the the Sonoff Smart uh, camera. Alright guys, subscribe and like and hit that notification if you like the video. And uh, of course, there'll be more stuff to come. So Tech Knight without. Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.